Would you like to learn how to build a real estate website or mobile app similar to Zillow quickly and with low cost? Maybe you have a unique idea for a real estate app that focuses on luxury real estate, rural properties, co-living spaces or vacation homes. If so, stay with me, because I'm here to guide you through the step-by-step -step process of software development, reveal standard mistakes to avoid and provide helpful tips that will enable your app to become profitable from day one. Hello, I'm Dennis Babich, the director of a software development company. In this YouTube video, I will share valuable insights from my team, industry experts and successful startup owners. Let's get started. Ok, let's start by identifying the real estate app system and its main components. The Zillow system consists of mobile applications for both iOS and Android, a web-based app and the web admin zone. Within the mobile app, you can have features such as home discovering, comparing real estate, filtering your searches, map functionality with bells and whistles, apartment detailed page, tour schedule and more. The web app offers almost identical features to the mobile app, but with the greater functionality. The admin zone provides functionalities such as manage your users, their properties, analytics, content management, verification process, security settings and user support. Your primary objective is to identify the key features and essential functionalities for your minimum viable product MVP. Speed is critical at this stage, enabling you to swiftly progress from the alpha stage of idea verification to the beta stage of improving your project. To ensure success, focus on 4 to 5 core features and incorporate your unique idea to develop the MVP quickly. Remember. Once you have a significant volume of customers, angel investors will demonstrate a huge interest in investing in your app. And companies like Zillow may acquire your startup with its unique concept. Don't let competition discourage you, as Zillow has numerous formidable competitors. There is always a niche market that can outperform big corporations. As a startup, you possess the advantages of being agile and flexible. Additionally, proven concepts from other countries can be replicated and implemented in your region. Your role is to execute the MVP iteration process correctly and with determination you can achieve success. Let's briefly discuss pricing. Pricing can be a challenge, as many individuals tend to overlook critical elements such as quality assurance, bug fixing, project management, maintenance and risk management. In addition, you must factor in the expenses associated with developing unique features. Estimating costs accurately at this stage can be challenging. Therefore, I will only provide you with the price for the core MVP functionality. Here is a valuable tip. If an investor contract requires an in-house development team, expect to pay US or EU prices. However, if you can build your app anywhere, outsourcing software development to Ukraine can reduce costs without sacrificing quality. Many startups have already adopted this approach. Companies like GitLab, Grammarly, Jubal and others recognize the value of hiring Ukrainian developers to create world-class software. With their excellent English skills, extensive outsourcing development experience and innovative thinking, Ukrainian developers offer the best value for money. Additionally, Ukrainians are hardworking. Now that you have an idea of pricing, you may be wondering which features to include in your MVP and which ones to postpone. After conducting extensive research on various YouTube channels and web guides, I was unable to find any valuable information on how to start a real estate business without prior experience in app or website development. That's why I've created the ultimate 10-step guide to help you take the essential first core steps towards your app's success. Skipping any of these steps could result in a waste of time, money and even bankruptcy. It's crucial to note that the cost of app development can vary significantly, ranging from 30 grand 
to 100 grand. Therefore, we must carefully consider the cost differences between each type of app and determine which option makes the most sense for your specific goals and needs at this stage. Alright, you already know that not all the features of the Zillow app are essential for your app. So how can you identify the core functionalities? A Lean Canvas business plan can help you achieve this goal by identifying your core features and unique advantages. To begin with, identify your target audience and determine what kind of functionality they require that is not already being provided by platforms like Zillow or Trulia. Additionally, assess your potential competitors or alternative solutions that may already exist to solve the problems of your target audience. Consider your unfair advantage. What sets you apart from the competition and significantly increases your chances of success? Perhaps you have a large community of real estate agents that you can bring to your new app, reducing your basic user acquisition costs. Identify your early adopters and where they spend their time online and figure out how to motivate them to use your platform. However, don't just focus on the present. Plan for the future and the potential international expansion of your Zillow clone. Creating a vision for what your app will look like in 5 or 10 years is critical for attracting investors and reaching unicorn status. If you have any questions, ideas or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. I personally review all comments and I'm happy to assist you with your questions because I enjoy helping my audience achieve their goals. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Can ChatGPT give us an unfair advantage? Let's carefully consider the features offered by the ChatGPT API. Primarily, it can answer natural language queries and act as a mediator between your clients and your system. For instance, within your real estate application, users can type in a search or chat requesting notifications about new properties in a particular area or if prices decrease for a specific property. ChatGPT integration can assist with such tasks. Additionally, if your users wish to create a search request with the chat such as show me three bedroom homes in a specific location the chat gpt api can also aid your platform uh, however please do not try to code with chat gpt for your real estate app as it may not work out unless you're a professional software developer and you know all issues that chat gpt can provide and you know how to fix them Anyway, you must determine a real valuable problem that a ChatGPT tool can address and find a solution for it. ChatGPT is just a third-party service that may or may not be beneficial to your app. Nevertheless, innovative tools should always be a part of your brainstorming process on the table. To build a successful startup, achieving product market fit is essential. This means coming up with innovative ideas and providing disruptive solutions for your target audience. Completing a value proposition table is a critical step in this process. Your unique idea is crucial in addressing the concerns and opportunities that your potential customers seek. It's important to identify their pain points and desired benefits and provide solutions accordingly. For example, your customers may be concerned about high realtor fees or how to find cheap real estate. They may also desire information on the potential future value of a property or a full condition report. To provide solutions to these problems, your app can offer services such as the sale of real estate for which the mortgage or loan has not been repaid, a third-party service that automatically verifies all legal real estate documents, or an online service that provides valuable information on price trends if a city hall actually decides to create a new park nearby. When completing your value proposition canvas, focus on the most significant value you can bring to your audience. Small companies can outplay big industry leaders by being agile and flexible and investing in unique niches. By identifying the pains 
and potential gains of your customers and offering unique solutions, you can set your startup up for success. So take your first steps today. If you're interested on getting more valuable insights regarding startups and businesses and wish to become a part of a community of business founders where I regularly share useful information and engage in live chats, feel free to click the link in the video description and join my Telegram. In order to gain a competitive edge, it's crucial to research industry leaders like Zillow, Trulia, and Redfin and analyze their key features and functionalities that could benefit your own app. Don't waste time reinventing the wheel. It's also worth exploring successful real estate startups in other countries and adopting their concepts or methods to suit your local market. By following this methodology, you'll be able to stay ahead of the competition and position your startup for success. Developing a story map is a crucial step in building your minimum viable product, as it can help you identify the necessary features efficiently and prioritize the functions that can be developed and launched quickly. It's crucial to focus on essential features with limited functionality. Moreover, creating separate story maps for each user type ensures that all their unique needs are met. Marketing in the real estate industry can be simplified by creating SEO-friendly content that addresses common questions and provides valuable insights for your users. This approach can help you build trust and credibility with your audience, which will benefit you in the long run. Take a cue from moving companies that share content on how to pack your belongings when moving, providing value to their customers. By providing valuable content, you can position yourself as an authority in your niche and attract more users to your platform. If you're planning to develop an app or business similar to Zillow, but still have some gaps in your knowledge, feel free to contact me through any of the links in the description. I'd be happy to share niche insights with you that can be a game changer for your startup. Once you have completed your value proposition research and identified the features for your MVP, it's crucial to create a wireframe map to organize your ideas and ensure that all users' cases and scenarios are covered. For example, let's consider a real estate app that may include standard use cases like home discovery, search filtering, map, and detail apartment page. Missing use cases, such as what should happen if a user is trying to schedule a meeting with a realtor, but the realtor is unavailable due to illness? User interface UI design is a crucial part of the app development process, but it doesn't have to be complicated. By analyzing major real estate platforms like Zillow, Trulia and Redfin, you'll notice that they all have a simple and centered design around map, prices and real estate images. This feature is often considered the most valuable aspect of real estate apps. Therefore, your focus should be on creating a clean and straightforward design that showcases your map, price, real estate image and your unique feature without any unnecessary distractions. Here's a valuable tip. If you're looking for design inspiration for your app, you can explore websites like Behance or Dribbble. Look for successful real estate apps and draw inspiration from the best designers by incorporating the design elements you like into your own UI. If you're interested on getting more valuable insights regarding startups and businesses and wish to become a part of community of business founders where I regularly share useful information and engage in live chats, feel free to click the link in the video description and join my Telegram. Choosing the right technology stack is a critical part of developing software that meets your users' evolving needs. However, selecting the wrong stack can lead to a range of issues, including slow performance, high costs, payment problems, and the possibility of downtime during peak traffic periods. If you're building a real estate app like Zillow, it's crucial to choose the correct technology stack that allows for the rapid development of your minimum viable product. Flutter and React Native are great options for quickly building mobile apps, while languages like Python, Django, Node.js, and Amazon Web Services 
are ideal for backend development. You can also use third-party services like SendGrid, Twilio, Google Maps to speed up development. It's essential to avoid overhyped and hard-to-manage technologies like PHP, Ruby, and .NET, which may not be suitable for your app's needs. Remember to choose the appropriate tech stack for each stage of your software development process. Don't go overboard at the start, but plan ahead based on your anticipated feature set when designing your app architecture. Selecting the right tech stack is essential for your app success, like receiving the correct diagnosis after a blood test. If you found these tips helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Your support will help boost its visibility in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Let's dive into the Agile process. It can increase the software development speed, but did you know that in some cases it may actually slow down project progress by up to 30%. For example, a team of five developers who understand their roles, communicate effectively and have already built most of the product can successfully use straightforward tools like Trello, Asana, Google Docs and brief meetings. However, when the team grows to 15 or more members, anticipated challenges may arise, such as Key developers may leave the team, the onboarding process becoming complex and time-consuming, team productivity decreasing, communication problems occurring more frequently, delivery dates and deadlines getting pushed back, code and architecture quality is getting worse. To avoid these issues, you will need to employ a tech lead to manage the team and code architecture, hire a technical project manager, implement processes such as Scrum, Sprints, Backlog and Retrospective. Hold daily stand-ups and provide updates on pending tasks. Utilize more sophisticated tools like Jira for management and velocity. Choosing the right tool at the appropriate time can help you achieve your MVP quicker. But using the same tools without adequate knowledge and expertise can result in failure. Collecting user analytics is a vital aspect of app development to ensure your app success. Understanding metrics like unique visitors, user behavior and common sessions can help you identify areas for improvement and hidden client needs. Utilizing tools such as Google Analytics, Session Stack, Firebase and Mixpanel can provide valuable insights into your app's performance. Conducting regular health checks is essential to uncover additional areas for improvement. By analyzing this data, you can provide more valuable features to increase your users' engagement. All right, if you are planning to create an app or business similar to Zillow, but still have some missing pieces of the business puzzle in your head, feel free to schedule a 30-minute call with me via Calendly URL down below. I'll be happy to share some niche insights with you that can be a real game-changer for your startup. See ya!